Hey YouTube, this is Dr. Shivo, and today I'm going to show you guys uh, the jailbreak of iOS 7.1 through iOS 7.1.1. It was just released today, uh, Tuesday, June 24th, 2014. Well, it's a Chinese jailbreak, and let's go. Uh, first of all, you need to uh, deactivate your uh, uh, code of the uh, iPhone or iPad and also back up your data to iTunes uh, before uh, proceeding. Uh, you, may, you might want to uh, make sure that your device is hooked up to, uh, the, I, to the computer and then uh, you just download the jailbreak tool from this website. Actually, it's uh, pango.io. The link is going to be down below in the description. And it has two options here, it's, uh, whether your Windows or Mac OS X. It's, Mac is not functioning actually yet, uh, but Windows is functioning so well. So um, well, uh, you, all you need to do is just double click the uh, Pango. A little window pops up as usual. It recognizes your iPhone. It says iPhone 3.1 iOS 7.1.1. And don't mind those question marks because this is uh, this is Chinese language, uh, probably not characterized by the uh, computer. Uh, but before I hit jailbreak, I'm going to show you guys that I'm running um, iOS 7.1.1 already. So this is general, <coughs> and then no, uh, uh, settings, general, and then about, and then. This is version, it's 7.1.1. So uh, let's just get with it, with the process. Uh, but first, it's very important that you uh, uncheck this box right here uh, because otherwise it will install some Chinese crap applications on your iDevice. So you uncheck that and then click that black button with a lot of question marks and then wait for it. And here it's, it's instructing you to actually change the date on your iPhone. So uh, all you need to do is open the settings and then uh, and then uh, general and then uh, you might want to navigate to the date and time and deactivate uh, the automatic setting of the date and then you might want to adjust uh, the date itself to uh, June's se June second. Uh, so you might want to navigate manually to that uh, until you find Monday, June second, and that's it. Well, when you're finished, uh, you're going to notice that uh, it's going to start. So there you go. Uh, then you uh, click on that. Uh, you notice that the progress bar, the progress bar is actually uh, proceeding. And on the iDevice, actually, there is a new icon here. It's a Pango icon. You might want to tap on that uh, only once, right here. And it is asking you uh, if you want to trust this program or anything. You just Simply click continue. So a little white window, like um, on the screen, came and it says uh, keep the device connected and do not close the app. So there you go. It will take a little uh, more time in the lower processor devices, just like iPhone 4. Uh, because uh, it takes a lot of time with that processor to calculate the data. So, so uh, I'm going to pause a little bit until the uh, process takes place. So the progress has taken a little bit of a while and it keeps saying on the screen here, 
keep the device connected and do not close the app. So we'll stick to their uh, instructions a little bit. So the device has rebooted finally after a long time uh, of waiting. So uh, I will pause one more time uh, and come back after the reboot is over. So you guys, I'm back and Cydia is there. Congratulations. Uh, so I'm going to just uh, start Cydia and it's preparing file system. It's actually written here but it's in German. Uh, it will take a lot of time to prepare the file system as you guys know. So um, I think I'm going to pause a little bit until that's over with. So you guys, uh, the device rebooted, and then uh, I'm gonna try to start Cydia uh, after it uh, rebooted. It's loading for the first time, actually. Um, it should take a lot, a lot of time uh, with uh, the slower devices, like I said. So you guys, Cydia is loading. Uh, it's getting the home page and uh, we'll scroll down to uh, the bottom of the page to uh, show you guys the, uh, the version as you can see here iPhone 3.1 i7.1.1 Cydia 1.1.12 so this is it you guys uh, if you like this video give it a thumbs up uh, thanks for watching and catch you guys in the next one. Peace.